Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. In a previous episode of Tanner Tech, I tried to light off this gigantic xenon light tube. This xenon light bulb is extremely big, and I think it can discharge a huge amount of current into a xenon flash, something extremely bright. Now, at first I tried launching it off with this capacitor bank that I had, which runs at approximately 1000 microfarads at uh, maybe 400 volts, but I've had a slight upgrade in capacitor bank technology since this capacitor bank, and today we're going to try and light off this light bulb for good. In comparison to this puny power supply, or capacitor bank, I've got this gigantic capacitor bank, where I have eight capacitors, each larger than my hand, all hooked up, which combines to form a thousand volt capacitor bank that can hold 500 microfarads of power. This equals out to about 500 joules of electricity. 500 joules is a much, as much as 30 Chinese firecrackers, which means that this light bulb will have the brightness of 30 firecrackers all going off at the same time, which should be extremely bright, and all that energy is going to be going into light and not heat or pressure, which will mean an extremely bright light, hopefully, that goes on. Powering this power supply, I've got a microwave transformer and a variac that is charging this, these capacitors through a 5K resistor, and after all these capacitors are charged, we're going to hook it up to the xenon tube. Basically, the xenon tube will be connected where one side of the capacitor bank is connected to one end of the uh, tube. One end of the capacitor bank is connected to one other side of the tube. And my high voltage power supply is connected to one of the other pins of the tube. Inside the tube, we have two electrodes. We have the anode and the cathode, but they can be reversed because it doesn't really matter. Those are connected to the capacitor bank, basically in parallel with it. And then we have the uh, high voltage lead, and that basically wraps around some ends of the xenon light tube. And those are connected to the leads of my high voltage power supply. This power supply is going to be used to trigger the xenon light tube. Now basically in a xenon light tube, you have two metal electrodes, and they are connected across this glass region full of xenon. Now what happens is when you apply a relatively high voltage across this xenon light tube, nothing's going to happen. That high voltage is going to be a thousand volts of these capacitors. Now nothing's going to happen across the xenon light tube. It'll be completely dead. It'll be completely inert. But what happens is when you ionize all the xenon gas inside with a very high voltage power supply, such as this 35,000 volt power supply, what will happen is all that gas will ionize and it will allow an almost infinite amount of current to flow through this device and that infinite amount of current will make it light up for a brief moment of time while it discharges the capacitor bank. Now these light bulbs operate in something called a negative resistance region. This negative resistance region means that as the current increases, the resistance decreases, which means more current happens. It's the opposite of normal uh, resistor in their operating principle, which means that it'll draw lots of current when it operates, hopefully discharging all these capacitors relatively quickly. Now, I was having trouble with this device in my other capacitor bank, and I think that's because the voltage of about 400 volts is too low for this. That 400 volts didn't give it enough voltage to cross all the uh, lengths of the xenon tube, and I think this power supply will give us that adequate voltage. So let's see if this works. All right, let's charge this up. I'll fire up my charging capacitors. As you can see, the voltage is rising. And it stopped. What the heck? Why did my... Why did it stop charging? Oh. I just had to tap it, and it went up. All right, we've reached maximum charge capacity. That's about 900 volts. Let's see if this works. Hopefully, as soon as I turn on this power supply, that xenon light tube should light up. Safety is almost number one priority. I mean, safety glasses are number one priority for most projects. I'm gonna switch into slow motion mode because I wanna see if anything happens with this light bulb that's pretty interesting. Alright, it's fully charged again. We're going to launch this thing off, 
And this time, not in slow-mo. That was pretty quick. Here we go again. And li literally, when I launch this thing off, I can feel the heat of the blast. Like, that's bright. This would be cool to make a ruby laser out of. This is pretty fun to play with. Now, I'm super happy that I finally got that xenon lamp working. It's pretty cool, especially with the big capacitor bank. It looks pretty cool, and it gets really hot. Not sure exactly what I'm going to use that super high-powered xenon lamp for, but whatever. It was still cool, and it's taken me a while to get that xenon lamp working, and it's pretty fun to play with. So, as always, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for my next video.